Hello and are you ready? It is day 18 of Vlogmas Australian edition. We are in the final week as we lead up to Christmas. So day 18 of course is a Dahlia Society day because it's an even day. So I've got the Dahlia Society here. I've also got my craft advent calendar. However, you may notice that I might be wearing a new make. And in fact, you've probably seen a bit of a twirl in the garden. It was very windy out there and it was starting to rain. So it was just a quick twirl. <laughs> um, and I've also got a bit of a haul for you, but I'll leave that to the end. So first up, we will do the calendars. That way, if you're not interested in the rest, you can toddle on your merry way and check out what other people are doing on the internets. So... First up, we have the Dahlia Society. I'm just going to put that there because I have a feel, I feel like I'm going to knock it off today. So, day 18. Let us see. So, day 18 would be 9. At least you know that I can halve the numbers or work out what the number's going to be. So, here we go. Day 9, we have Merry Christmas and Happy New Year with a gorgeous little gingerbread man there. Very cool. I tell you what, I've been loving both of my calendars. All three of them, actually. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So we have... Oh, we've got another beautiful little um, scented melt which is Christmas Frankincense and Myrrh. And this is by, now last time I said gum, gum Leaf Essentials Aromatherapy, but it's not actually. It's Buckley and Phillips um, Aromatics. So that's that one there. I'm going to light that one. Actually, I've got one going at the moment. I don't even remember which one it is. Um, oh, yeah. I'm actually getting some of that. Slightly but surely my nose is coming back, or my sense of smell. But I love frankincense. Frankincense is probably one of my favourite um, incense, and I do actually have quite a bit of it over in the other room over there. So, beautiful. Yum. Thank you. Now, that wasn't the only thing in there. I've actually also got... Oh, I've also got a 15% discount for forget-me-not patterns. Now, I really like forget-me-not patterns. I have a few of theirs. I've got that one. I've got that one. This is just on the back of the little card. They've got little pictures on there. I'm not going to show it to you because it's got the code on there. So, too bad, so sad. Um, so, I will definitely be using that. And that's for the month of December. So, I'll make sure I use that. Very good. I'm very happy with that. Yay. Lovely. So that's that's the Dahlia Society out the way. Let's have a look what our craft is. We are going for 18. 18. Oh, here in the middle. Right here. Oh, this is just a little one. Mind you, that, that can be the seam incarnate because they put the boxes in or the little bags in. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's, it's almost been swallowed by the actual calendar. Just talk amongst yourselves for a moment. Oh, there we go. Okay, it was a little one, but it was, it was almost eaten by the calendar. <laughs> so, number 18. Let's see what we have. Oh, we're building again. Oh, this is a nice, easy one. Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. So this is a reindeer. Oh, no, no, I can build this one. So you'll recall yesterday I received the Santa on a sleigh. It was almost like a whole diorama. Um, this is the reindeer that's going to pull that sleigh. How cool is that? I wonder if I can get him together because all it is is just some pieces. Oh, I've got to colour the reindeer. Okay, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. Not just yet. Anyway, 
that would only prolong your wait to see what my haul is and for me to talk about this so there's my little crafty bit now I mentioned yesterday that Chris is back off to work today. So he is a fly-in, fly-out worker, or a FIFO worker as we call them. So he is on site for two weeks and then has two weeks off. So we call him part-time or semi-retired. However, when he is on site, he does work 12 hours a day. So he is a very hard worker and I'm very lucky because he's, he's very good to me. And... Oh, I've, I've left one over there. Hold that thought. You thought you were going to see it then, didn't you? <laughs> no. So, he asked me, um, or more... The, more to the point I put a bit of a list together of things that I might like for Christmas so that if anyone asked there was something to get me so anyway Chris basically bought the list so I have a little haul here for you that I received last night because we did our Christmas um, gift exchange last night I definitely got the better end of the deal um, just saying so but I'll make it up to him Anyway, so what did I get? I hear you asked. Well, they're all sewing related, funnily enough. Um, and he was in cahoots, actually, um, with the lovely Kristen from the Dahlia Society because some of the items on the list were actually from Kristen's shop. And one of them was the Prim Vario Creative Tool. So I had seen this and thought... Mm, I might like that for Christmas so what do you know here it is what I didn't know though is that Chris actually emailed Kristen Chris being Chris he likes to get all of the things so he knew I wanted this so he then wanted to know what else went with it so that he could get all of those things as well so I've got a little bag here that I've just emptied out so with it so I'll give you a better look so and I'm sure a, a number of you have seen these this tool allows you to um, use a variety of different fasteners so you can see a number of them across the bottom um, and yeah it's a lot easier than using the just like a hammer I've done that a few times hasn't necessarily ended very well so however these are the things that can't, that he got along with it so we got the um the clamp so that will clamp it to the side of your table so to keep it steady while it's used um i don't even, i haven't even seen some of these so these are actually a tool set for prim eyelets with washers so this is 11 and 14 millimeters so I can, these are grommets, that's what they are. I was, couldn't think of what they were called. Um, so that's a grommet tool set. And then I think this is a, this is for rivets. So these are 7.5 and 9 millimeter rivet sets. Oh, that would be my phone ringing. Who could that be, I wonder? That was my sister Rianne on the phone she's bought herself a sewing machine so she's coming she has a day off on thursday so she's going to come up here on thursday and we're going to have a look at her machine she's probably going to print out the traffic light dress and give it a crack so i am super excited about that so watch this space you never know anyway back to my Christmas present haul goodness me so I don't know whether I got to these so these are this is the I think I did the rivet set um, and this is the 7.5 so these are the pieces that go on to the um, tool to insert or install rivets and um, grommets and that sort of thing so 7.5 mil and 9 mil rivets 
So I'll be making jeans before you know it. Um, and this one is, this is a Colour Snaps tool set. So we shall see how that one goes. Now also in that same package, Kristen snuck some little things in. So Kristen helped him with the prim set to as a you know get me started sort of thing and then Kristen actually included these snaps for me thank you Kristen I appreciate that greatly your help for Chris and also for these so I am very lucky I've got three different colors there and they're all good staple colors so that's great so that was the things from Kristen now I believe the other items are from the other store so out of these there are th well two things from my list and then two other things so oh, for the life of me I can't remember what the store was now so I'll write it across the bottom um, or at the top you know where I usually put my little words um, so I've got the Judy's studio um, sleeve press so and it's got the covers on it so I've already used this with this today so I was super happy to see these or to see this so that's the sleeve press so you've got the the thin sleeve and this is going to be wonderful doing like babies and children's cuffs because I like to make the so over it over it alls as gifts for babies um, they always go down a treat and doing those little cuffs oh my goodness so this is going to make that a lot easier um, and then it's got the wider sleeve there and the beauty that I like about this one because I do have the ham the sleeve ham but this actually lifts it off the ironing board so you can turn it a lot easier so I, I like that now on top of that I also got the oh what are these called clapper so these are clappers I think they're called that's what they're called so and this one has the point turner on it or the point on it for doing um, collars and things like that so and the he also got the cover for it as well so and then there's the clapper bit so super happy with those I was really excited when he asked for that list because just between you and I I knew that he would buy everything on the list now he also got a pack of curved rulers so these are clover rulers and these are the little ones so I do have a couple of larger curved rulers um, but I sometimes find them they're just a little bit too much um, so these are some smaller ones so I think they'll be they're really going to be handy so I like those and then to top it off I also got this and I didn't know what it was to start with but there's a magnet on the end so I don't even have to bend down with the magnet to pick up anything that I've dropped I just you know swish it around like that so that's super cool so along with the magnet that I've received in the um, the beyond the pink door box that I said I could put on a cord I'll be able to have like magnets at a different at a couple of different stations so I have my sewing station then I have my ironing corner where you've been before um, so yeah so I did very well so thank you very much Christopher so yes so that was my Christmas present haul so I'm very lucky now to my dress so this is my twirl version of the sewing revival peacock dress and I've not put that on silent I'm not doing very well here ah that is Christopher actually um, so he's at work he works up um, in the outback um, and it was 41 degrees Celsius for them today so I'm sure he's enjoyed that immensely
back to the peacock dress this is my twill version of the peacock dress i finished it today it is literally hot off the press i popped out did my little twirl um yes so i'm very very happy with it it's come up a treat i've made no adjustments to it which i was dubious about after the traffic light dress however the when i held it up you know it's a kimono it's a grown on sleeve so it's got that kimono sort of style look to it um you know there's no defined waist as such so that you put the where you tie it is where it is but it's worked out perfectly i was a little worried about the length i thought i was worried it might be a little bit short but i think it's the perfect length to be honest and this is out of 2.5 meters so and i'm a larger size and it's wonderful so i'm definitely going to go with this for my christmas day dress in the like the berry red um lurex fabric that i got from the dahlia society in the november bespoke box so super happy to be um have chosen a dress for that uh and yes so it's gonna look fabulous and i think um i did in the twirl give you <laughs> give you a bit of a flash to show you that the coverage is actually really good um with the dress so the coverage the left hand side is right around here so the coverage is really great so i think this will be a quite a nice dress for work i don't feel like this is going to be exposed at all like i can literally only sort of open it to here so that's not there's not going to be any sort of flashing involved um so yeah i'm really happy with it it feels nice and comfortable on um, I actually feel like I look quite nice in it as well. And I know that, um, you know, everyone's very positive in the comments, but you know yourself when you make something, how you feel in it. And it's not just when you make something, it's when you wear something as well. People can tell you you look great till you're blue in the face, till they're blue in the face. However, if you don't feel good, that you look good, then that's, that's all that matters. And I feel really nice in this, so I'm very happy. Um, so I can see a few of these in the future, um, possibly for work as well. I think one in black, in a black linen, would look lovely for work with a nice black sandal, really nice, easy um, summer outfit for work. It's modest enough for in the office, uh, mind you, if you've seen some of the things that people wear in the office uh, these days, I don't know. Apparently there's not a dress code anymore. Maybe I'm a prude, but, you know, we're not at the club. I might have to edit that bit out. <laughs> there's a bit too much attitude in that. Anyway, so there you go. So if you're looking for a nice um simple easy make very straightforward i think there were three there's about seven pieces but once the facing um is put together uh there's literally four pieces oh and the pockets it's got pockets um so very simple very straightforward um, i'm very happy with it so if you're looking for something nice and simple yet has a nice classic line in my opinion then the sewing revival peacock dress you might want to give that a try now if you do um as per normal i'll have the links in the bottom if you do use my link and i don't even know if those links work because i'm not technically minded so i just cut and paste so i don't actually know if they're clickable in there if you do use it and you do go and purchase the pattern using that link um, that is an affiliate link and I will receive some commission there is you are under no obligation if you want to go straight to their site and purchase whatever that's fine my channel's not about you know I'm not retiring um, anytime soon <laughs> so yeah so if you use it you do if you don't you don't I'm not fussed anyway 
that is it for day 18 hopefully this isn't too long ramble 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 um and i'll see you tomorrow for day 19 where we are back on the pink door see what we've got there and uh, i better get to crafting because we've got some we, i've got a bit of a backlog of crafting going on at the moment maybe i can get rianne crafting on thursday we'll see i'll see you then Bye.